Hello everyone. I wanted to make a correction uh, uh, in the interview that was given to me by Ramona of HealingGrapevine.com. This is Sungazer. When I said Agrobacterium uh, as one of the uh, multi-phase delivery systems with nematodal infections, I misspoke because I'm also writing an article on Agrobacterium. There may be a relationship with Agrobacterium and the strange effects happening with nematode. Uh, but what I was actually meaning to say in the audio was Photohabitus symbiotica, which is confirmed by the Cent uh, Center for Disease Control uh, as having been a very strange and unique twist on the nematode kingdom. I recommend that you read the article, uh, and Ramona, of course, will uh, add an updated correction uh, when I accidentally misspoke with agrobacterium. Agrobacterium is a far more complex issue. Uh, there's a very likely relationship, but I don't want to make that assumption in that audio. Um, so you can see um, Australia was ground zero for the photohabitus, photohabitus, and it's a direct relationship to the nematode kingdom, and nematode is the delivery system. So do please check this out and know that the audio that Ramon and I were doing when I said agrobacterium as being validated and verified as uh, one of the multi-phase aspects of nematode, I was meaning photohabdus, which uses the uh, king uh, bacterium and several other uh, bacteriums. There's a huge amount of research behind this, so do, um, you know, please do uh, look at all the various aspects of this. And uh, note that the luminescent insects and different genetic modifications that have been used, um, one of the things that most of the nematodal uh, companies that give you nematodes to put on your golf course say that it's really cool because you can go out at night and see the luminescent nematodes on your golf course glowing in the dark. Uh, there's a lot of genetic modifications happening here and there's some gem genetically modified uh, co-infections relating directly to the uh, photohabdus infection, okay, which is very similar in some ways to Morgellons. Uh, and very different in other ways. So do have a look at it, and thanks for allowing me to make this correction. Bye-bye.